ticket for acting and being in a fraudulent shot. We shot, 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 shot,
Big Screen O Boom with the station. That was uh, Billy Cook with Candy Blue. We're going to keep you rolling with a request. This is a requested song. This is Young Thug, Best Friend. Ricky Rex, I see Thug, why is self a life, bitch? Yeah, fuck you, your mama, and everything else. Young Free to go. You killed this trip. That's my best friend, that's my best friend. Bless me. Big old booty bitch messes from Texas. What's next? I'm a skeet all the nigga gonna catch me. Catch me. And that's my bestie, my bestie, my best friend. Go best friend. Nigga living TTG and everything is still on flee. Bad bitch rolling with me, she gon' smile cause she don't flee. Hundred thousand dollars at my pay, my shit don't flee. Yeah. You talked about uh, Bill Cosby when you're doing Meteor Man. Uh-huh. Did you have a relationship with, with Bill after that? Bill, uh, you know, Dr. Cosby, I'm going to call him by his real moniker. Dr. Cosby is a class act. When I was first starting on the Malcolm Natty show, he called me over to the set of his show. And he said, yes, I hear you're a cancer also. I said, yes, July 15th. He said, I want you to sit down and study. It's obviously you're great. We all know it. But you got to learn the business, Eddie. Right? So I would go there literally for a week and study. And at the end of every rehearsal, he says, so what did you notice? I said, I noticed you would take the script, put it up on his feet, and then bring it to life, but add in your flavor. You didn't go just by the script. You knew the map. But you got there your own way because once you get it on your feet and you actually interplay with the other actor, mm-hmm. other shit's going to come out. Yeah. Right? The small little nuances that you can't write a certain look 
You know what I mean? A hand gesture, shit like that, right? So I'm watching that. And he was smoking study, his little stogie nigga, and laugh afterwards. Yeah, it's smart, it's smart. I like that. You know, we need more with brains, right? <laughs> so, uh, which helped me, you know, transitioning from just stand up where I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. And then they had this little nigga off the streets you know, a hundred plus thousand dollars a fucking week and then put constraints on the motherfucker. I felt like I was handcuffed every motherfucking week on that show. <laughs> it was a living hell for me. So, uh, but you know, uh, uh, Dr. Cosby helped me out with that shit. What do you think, you know, your take on what happened with Bill Cosby with the allegations and everything else like that? Look, First off, you have to remember uh, this was in the 70s. Right? I'm old enough to remember the 70s. The 70s is a different time. Right? The 70s motherfuckers all had Coke spoons around their fucking necklace. Mm. You go to the damn disco, nigga, the line is laid out on the table. Toot, toot. Right? Yeah. When you, you want to level out after a hit of cocaine, you get a Quaalude. Right? Yeah. So did he rape these bitches? All of them said the same thing. We went to the room. Why would you go to the room of a known married man? Right. Number one. Me, me they're, they're down to fuck anyways. Why would you go to a room, a hotel room, of a known married man? And he incorporates this whole marriage thing in his comedy routines. and It's not a secret that he's married. You understand. Okay. So they, they're down to fuck. Then they go back 30 years later and say, he raped me. 30 years. I don't understand that. I mean, That's like a motherfucker robbing me. And then I wait 30 years to call the police. I got robbed. 30 years ago. In 1984. Right, because if you notice, there, there was no... And it's him! <laughs> <laughs> because it, it's past the statute of limitations, so there's no, there's no criminal charge. There is a systematic effort to destroy every black male entertainment's, entertainer's image. They want us all to have an actress by name. Kobe raped a white woman in Colorado. Dr. Cosby raped 37 bitches and is still counting. Nobody leaves this business clean. Michael Jackson, fuck little white children. Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan gambled. Mm, right, and then his dad got killed. And you he, understand? They to tie that. You're not going to die clean. I mean, everything that Bill Cosby has built up, the, the decades of work that, that he stood behind. The man has, you know, single-handedly you know, sent a bunch of brothers and sisters to college. Yeah. You know, even if he didn't pay for it himself, he gave them the idea that it's possible, right? The motherfucker was so generous with his money, he bought colleges, colleges. I, I know, you understand me? I, I know that I've seen some interviews. And then some pussy is supposed to tear that down. Like, I, I've seen some interviews with... Let's uh, talk about this little motherfucking white boy who's a known motherfucking pedophile, the director that escaped overseas. What's oh, that motherfucker's name? Uh, Roman Palazzo? Yeah, I don't see them fucking with that motherfucker. Well, I mean, he's... Oh, he's back at work. Yeah, he's back at work. He's like in Sweden or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to flee the country. Yeah. I mean... I